Hi Pisces, we are doing a soulmate twin flame in separation where communications has broke down and there is little to no contact with each other. Little to none. Ugh. All the decks we will be using for this reading come from Serendipity Tarot. You can find her on Etsy if you're interested in the decks. Hmm. Let's get your higher self, your spirit guides, to give us the higher perspective <clears throat> on this connection. Guys, what fell out before I could even get a shuffle is silent treatment, immature behavior, passive aggressiveness, guilt for past actions, not acknowledging their fault. We're going to go ahead and take it even though I didn't get a full shuffle, but it came out for a reason. Let's see what else pop. Burdens carrying heavy weight. Past emotional baggage not able to ascend. Freedom from past ties and holds. Silent treatment. Really not talking to each other. Who being silent to get at each other. The burden, the carrying the heavy weight. Carrying the heavy weight. It's definitely saying in these cards from the higher perspective is... Um, one was doing more than the other in the connection. I can't tell whose energy is who, guys. I'm picking up your energy, their energy, and you could be mirroring each other. So, each card could be representing both of you. But, this one, I'm definitely, because carrying the heavy weight is making me feel like somebody was really is really upset that the other one wasn't doing their part. That could be in anything from, you know, like work or just you know, cleaning, things like that. Just the off balance. I feel like I'm having to do everything. What else is coming out? Misdirection. Not listening to intuition. Blocked insight and foresight. Confused about future path. Bad decision or judgment call. Coming in under that silent treatment. So, when we go into that silence, not talking, we definitely, the undercurrent energy is, I made the wrong choice, didn't I? I didn't choose too well, did I? <laughs> yes. We start to question our past decisions about being in a connection with this person. And start questioning which direction for the future. What else is coming out? Emperor. Control and protection. Maintaining stability and structure. Structure, practical and logical decisions, strong divine masculine energy. But what's coming with that? Soul connection, strong, undeniable attraction, a bond that can't be broken. Soul level connection, a spiritual force that joins souls together. Coming with the emperor energy, guys. What am I hearing? What's on the bottom? Confession, ready to come clean. Right your wrongs, exposing the truth and all that all that's hidden, expressing their heartfelt feelings and emotions is on the bottom of the deck. That's uh, undercurrent energy. What am I picking up off of this, guys? There's too much of a we're coming at each other. Where's the feminine? <laughs> oh, I don't know how else to put it. I'm not talking gender, I'm talking energy. Of uh, which one of you is Standing in the feminine and masculine because you know it flows back and forth. We alternate that energy like positive to negative, negative back to positive. I mean, we switch off, but it's like two emperors clashing, two stubborn people clashing here. But there's that connection that we're not understanding because as much as we get on each other's nerves. As much as it, we're ag get agitated in this connection, there is a deep connection that we're not just not under not able to understand. But the majority of the time, we're coming at each other with too much masculine energy from both sides, both sides, guys, and that means you're clashing. You're like, bam, just hitting a wall with each other. Hmm, and that one's probably both of you on the silent treatment. The fact that uh, we got that emperor. 
trying to maintain control. Always. And it's going to be hard to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation until we can pull in some some of the softer feminine sides of ourself to be able to talk from the heart level. Emperors come at each other from uh, ahead and ego. Bam, bam, bam. It's just, it's just, it's just, bam, 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 bam. Y'all know what I'm talking about. So, yeah, it's, it's just stubborn energy that doesn't want to give an inch. It's hard to give. Uh huh. Okay, let's keep going here. Let's see what else is going to be brought out here. Hmm. My Pisces. Bring it up. Past trauma, unprocessed hurt and pain, unresolved childhood issues. In desperate need of healing, of healing. So one of us or both of us, probably both of us, have brought in past traumas that's causing us both to be in that protective over self, over things, over everything. Masculine energy, too much of the masculine uh, being brought forward from trauma, past traumas of, I need to know how everything is going to go <laughs> yes structure stability i need to know manipulation skillful and clever tactics taking advantage for personal benefits misleading and deceiving mm -hmm. and on on that one guys it would be trying to get the other one to give in to our way of seeing things Mm -hmm. And that's probably on both parts. Emotionally void. Acting cold and distance. Detached from true feelings. Heart space is blocked. Both of us over here. Silent treatment. We would definitely go into the uh, cutting off on an emotional level. But trauma has actually put us in the stance of the emperor. The emperor blocks the heart from having to feel any pain. We don't want to feel that pain. Mm -hmm. Surface level, no real conversation, fun, casual connections, not sharing personal details. Uh, no real conversation, let's put it that way, is what popped. No real heart to heart conversation is getting serious. Of, oh, here, the heart to heart conversation actually requires us not just to do talking at the other person, but to hear what the other person is saying and what they're not saying. It's a deeper conversation, guys. We've also got lazy coming out. Lack of effort or care, unwilling to invest, careless attitude. And that's going to come in on, like I said, somebody feels like there's one-sidedness. Uh, the other person's lazy. Mm -hmm. Apology. Look, both sides of the deck. Confessions and apologies. Ready to come clean. Ready to express heartfelt feelings and emotions. An apology. Admitting wrongdoing, expression of remorse and regret, wanting forgiveness. Is that both of us, guys? Because it's coming from the bottom, the undercurrent energy is we might be ready to have that heart to heart, serious heart to heart conversation. Mm. Okay, let's keep going. Come in on past trauma. Let's see the energies that's coming with that. Where is that? Divine timing. Stay on the past trauma. Divine timing. What? Overthinking and self-sabotage. Overthinking and self-sabotage. Divine timing. Hmm. Okay. Come over to manipulation. What's coming out on that? False mask. Mm -hmm. Putting on a false mask. Anything else on manipulation? Nightmare. Mm, false mask plus mm, the mummy. Oh, covering up things. Covering up true feelings through emotions. Don't want to show the vulnerability. Emperors don't, will not. The emperor energy is coming at each other with emperor energies. You'll hold a poker face. You won't allow the other person to see your tears. 
Uh-uh. You don't want to see any kind of emotion off of you because it makes you vulnerable. Coming in on emotional void. Soul death and rebirth. Ooh. Ooh. It's getting deep on that one, guys. Uh-huh. What else? Childhood trauma. More trauma. One more. Finding self. Ooh. All that on emotionally void. Ooh, those emotions might be filling in about now because that's a lot of introspection and I still not grasping divine timing. I feel clueless on divine timing coming in with the overthinking, self sabotage, divine timing. Hold on, I got two two that popped out while I was talking. The naked truth. Lies, trickery, and deceptions, divine timing, past trauma, self overthinking, self sabotage. Ooh, that divine timing, I'm picking it up as uh, the whatever you're going through in this connection right now for you or the other person, or it could be for both of you. Because we're carrying past traumas that uh, threw us into emotional void, trying to find ourselves, the trauma, get past trauma. We were meant to come together. This is perfect timing <clears throat> to bring out the naked truth on things. Not just have us seeing what someone else does, but seeing our self-sabotage. Hmm. Interesting. Surface level. Uh, no real conversations. Stuck. All tied up. Mm -hmm. Don't feel like we can. In a cycle end enclosure. Ooh, afraid to have heart to heart conversations and reveal too much of ourselves because we'll feel like if somebody doesn't, we won't be loved if the real us shows up. Mm -hmm. Or we can actually, because the vulnerability is coming in, also feeling like somebody will use it against us if they know we're vulnerable. Coming in on lazy, lack of effort and care. Insomnia, sleepless nights, pet peeves are getting to us to the point it's disrupting us from having um, peace peace within ourselves and real regrets. Mm, okay, let's come in on the bottom of the deck on confession first over here. Karmic ties, yeah, guys, like I said, for some reason... Up under that emperor, don't forget, it's a soul connection. Karmic ties, there's something where, that keeps pulling us together and it may have to do with divine timing. We were meant to go through this with this person. Um, we matched each other when it comes to the pain, the traumas, and also the healing. Uh, so yeah, come in on an apology. Childishness and mind games. Ooh, see what else. Run away and avoidance. Y'all take that as well. That's coming in on apologies. Bottom of the deck. Daydreaming and reminiscing about what? Fear of love. And broken promises. Here's some of the trauma. Heartbroken. Ooh, and can't hear anything else because we're what? Drowned in the pain of past pain and trauma. Mmm. Okay, very sensitive to past pain and trauma. Let's get the messages. Come on, Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Let's come in on past trauma up here. The message. I must admit that I'm longing for your touch and warm embrace. Hmm. Coming in on manipulations, and we got all that mask covering up. <sighs> Nightmare, false mask. And my pride and ego led us astray. One more with that one. I kick myself for sabotaging this relationship. My life won't be the same. Ooh, okay. Coming in on emotionally void and finding ourselves down here. Let's move that one over here. Mm -hmm. That soul searching, waking up to self. Mm -hmm. 
It wasn't you. It was me. I am to be blamed. I accept fault for this. We're definitely having an awakening of where we're seeing ourselves and where we're not so much into blaming someone else, but only really look, starting to look at us, uh, bringing ourselves to a uh, healing. Let's put it that way. Coming in on surface level. I know I I failed you and let you down big time. Oh man. Okay. One more with it. I struggle with revealing my true feelings and emotions. Yeah. It's probably on both of your parts, you guys. It's one thing you'll have in likeness. On the lazy. <laughs> Let's find out the lazy. But that is definitely on one of your nerves big time. I regret my past mistakes and wish I can have another chance with you. Mm -hmm. Coming in on the confessions with karmic ties. I am damaged and not deserving of your love. You know, think about that one because there's deeper, a deeper concept uh, to it for both of you. Both of you. It has to do with the trauma. And for some reason, I'm picking up it is both of you that's brought trauma from childhood. I am damaged and not deserving of your love. The self-sabotage. I don't feel worthy of being loved. On the apology, the mind games, childishness, runaway, and avoidance. What are we getting on that apology? Life hasn't been too nice to me, and I took that out on you. One more. I have not given up on you, even though it may seem like it. Mm -hmm. Let's come over to the daydreaming and reminiscing. Let's see what's going to come out on the bottom of that deck over there. One day, I believe we will be together again. Got one more coming with it, guys. I am working on myself each day so I can come back to you as my complete whole self. So, we well, see where the desires are leading. Bottom of the deck, I feel like a fool for losing you. Mm. Let's see which oracle deck. Everyone's getting a different oracle deck to close with. Just sit with me a minute <laughs> until the energies pull me to which deck to pull for you. Ew. We're getting black Hollywood romance stars, but hold on. I'm still feeling in static energy moving around me. Yes. Guys, we're getting uh, Maruk X uh, fortune telling deck. Let's do this one first. With the fortune telling deck, guys, most of the time spirit uses it to give you a head up, heads up of something. And so let's see what it is. Expansion, Sagittarius energy. Oosh, oosh. Okay, you're ready to expand and move forward to your next lucky break. Next look, lucky break. But think of Sagittarius energy. And don't rush at each other. Because like I said, we we are somebody is sitting in that reminiscing. They want to get back together. They want to start talking. But we are both going through a healing, learning process. But the, the, put it this way, the ones, the arrow's done been shot out, it won't miss its target because the arrow's not seeking the target. The target is drawing the arrow to it. So don't spend a lot of time uh, focused in on trying to figure out where this connection is going, that kind of thing. Just allow things to unfold. The arrow's been shot out. Meander your way there. <laughs> yes. Un unrevealed secrets. What is happening on the surface is not what you'll see if you dive deeper. Ooh, allow things to unfold. Ooh. Hmm. 
the mason symbol. Wow, okay. The master builder. Master builder. 22, number 22. 22. What else? Is there anything else? Mm-hmm, right here. Family and heritage, it's time to get back in touch with your loved ones you have been away from. Loved ones you have been away from. Bottom of the day. The time is now. It is time to act now without hesitation. <clears throat> move past the old and move forward. I'm taking this one on this one. There's some... Mm -hmm. Don't, like I said, something's playing out the, the arrows, phoenix energy rising on the bottom also. Something's playing out and Spirit's bringing in with these fortune telling cards more than just this connection. There's something to do with the past traumas and something uh, for one of you or both of you. And that's the reason that Spirit would be telling you don't worry too much about trying to reconnect with this person right now. You're going to reconnect one way or another. Because mm -hmm. you're coming back together. All the energy is here on the bottom of the deck showing where the true desires are. But there's something that needs clearing on this past trauma for one of you that has to do with the past and family. Family heritage. It's getting in back getting back in touch with that, whether the person is alive or not. Memories, the reminiscing, uh, the energy is coming back to work with for one of you i don't know which one it is uh and that is what's to be moved on right now mm -hmm. if it's you pisces I, yeah don't hesitate on on that one it's family friends tribe past traumas with this person though there's no action to take it's just you just going to be drawn where you're supposed to be going with them Let's see what the Black Hollywood romance, what spirit's bringing out on the connection. Best part, remember this. <laughs> if life were a movie, being with each other would be the best part. You both bring out the better parts of each other. Best part. And we've got annoyance. You or your partner may be annoyed right now. Give each other space to cool off to avoid more arguments. The lazy, the one person that says, I'm under the heavy burden and you won't get off your butt and do blah, blah, blah. <laughs> They're annoyed. It's space. Best part is being together. It's bringing you back together, y'all. Undercurrent energy. But something's getting ready to take place for one of you on the healing process. It has nothing to do with the other person. Mm -hmm. hopefully that makes sense guys hope it was helpful also sending y'all love and light bless be